we are going to go look for a pygmy rattlesnake and he's here so we should find one. There's one and right there. Get, get a hook. Get him out. Yeah. Okay. Here we have just a uh, regular adult uh, western pygmy rattlesnake. And he is not um, wanting to stay still. We're going to see if we can get some shots of him. These guys are venomous, uh, so we definitely do want to stay back and uh, not get where we can be bitten. He's over there, Heath. These guys are probably, I'm pretty sure they are the smallest venomous snake in Oklahoma. Uh, some people say we have coral snakes in the southeast part of the state, and I don't buy that. I don't think one's ever been found. I don't think there's a biological record of one. Uh, this would be this would be our smallest venomous snake, and that's the pygmy rattlesnake. This guy actually is not too far into the woods from where we started started hiking and hopefully he's going to stay still and let us to continue uh, photographing him. These guys um, are a snake I never get tired of seeing. Uh, they always have um, a lot of attitude. Um, even when they rattle and strike, which isn't often unless you're harassing them or bothering them, they still just possess that, that rattlesnake-like personality. And it uh, makes them really, really fun to observe from a distance. This is um, a snake that you do not want to get bit by. Uh, I don't believe that I've ever heard of any fatalities from a western pygmy rattlesnake bite. Uh, but they do have venom, and I don't think they can deliver a lot of it. Uh, they are a smaller snake. They're, they maybe get a foot long, if, if lucky, if, the, if they live to be that long. Probably a foot and a half is approaching record for them and these guys are just really fascinating and we're gonna get a few more pictures and send this guy on his way thank you for watching and hit like and subscribe on your way out